Breaking right now at 8 o'clock, police have a New Hampshire psychiatric hospital on lockdown. A gunman entered the lobby and shot and killed someone. Then a state trooper assigned to the hospital shot and killed the suspect. A suspicious vehicle parked on the hospital's campus is being searched by the state police bomb squad. Police are asking visitors to stay away from the Concord facility, but mental health care will continue for patients. Police still working to determine who the shooter is. The name of the victim has not been released as police work to notify their family. Thank you for joining us at 8 o'clock tonight. I'm Chris Tanaka. New England rattled with another headline of a shooting, this time at that hospital. We want to get straight to WBC's Louisa Muller, who's live near the scene in Concord, New Hampshire, with the latest. Louisa. Chris, the call for a possible active shooter came in just before 4 o'clock. Now, more than four hours later, police say there is no threat. But the investigation into who this suspect is and their motivations is still in its beginning stages. As you can see behind me, there's still plenty of law enforcement here and blue lights lighting up this area in the driveway to the more than 180 bed hospital and an abutting road to the hospital also shut down. There's also a sprawling state office complex right next door. Speed, uh, all units, we got a report of an active shooter. Flashing lights surrounded New Hampshire Hospital Friday evening. A large response to an active shooter situation in the lobby of the inpatient psychiatric hospital. Upon entering the lobby, the suspect shot one individual. But quick action from a state trooper prevented an even greater tragedy. A state trooper assigned to the hospital and in close proximity immediately engaged, shot, and killed the suspect. Unfortunately, the one victim was transported to Concord Hospital and died. Now police say the scene is contained and no patients were harmed. They're still looking into a suspicious vehicle on the scene. A law enforcement robot seen circling a U-Haul in the parking lot. One suspicious vehicle on the campus is currently being investigated by the state police bomb squad. Now, remember, this is an acute psychiatric hospital. Scenes like what you're seeing right now can be very disruptive and disturbing for many of these patients, many of whom are here involuntarily. Uh, the state is saying that visitors are not allowed here at this point, but they are setting up a call center so that families can reach out to their loved ones. We're live in Concord, New Hampshire. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thanks for the information. WBZ security analyst and former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis told us it's going to be a busy night for investigators who are processing that scene. When you get to a situation like this, it's about treating the patients first, saving lives as quickly as possible. It sounds like the uh, shooter was taken out very uh, quickly, so um, then things stabilize and it goes into full bore uh, investigative mode. And you'll want to stay with WBZ News and CBS News Boston as we gather new details on the investigation. You can look for updates all evening on WBZ News and first thing on WBZ Mornings.